I'm at Otero Electric here in Carrizozo, New Mexico, and it's a Sunday morning, whatever time, I don't know what time it is, early morning, it's a Sunday, so there's nobody here, but they do have a Tesla that they use for the company, and they have a charger, so if you're in the area of Carrizozo, New Mexico, you can uh, pull in here and charge. It, they have a, it's a J1772 plug, so if you have a Chevy Bolt, uh, it'll, it'll charge it, or anything that uses the J1772 connector, because they have an adapter there for that Tesla charger that's a J1772. So I just checked it out and it fit perfectly in my Chevy Bolt. And now we're in Carrizozo, New Mexico. And New Mexico, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and this is the right down, this is the downtown area. But what I want to show you now is they've made a lot of changes here. So I got to make a U-turn and go back. And you see those donkeys on top of those buildings there? those metal donkeys it's artwork stuff well there's several donkeys around you know and they'll give you a map from the visitor center and you can walk around downtown and try to locate all the donkeys if you want to because they have a walking guide to help you find them but anyway, i'm going to go back here because they've been doing some major street or whatever road construction in carrizozo for a year or more and uh, is it, it did it work out for the for good yes hell yeah it's, you'll love it uh, there's another donkey up here and yeah so let's take a right here and uh, yeah the old road in carrizozo that i've been on many times this is highway 54 i think i'll check in a minute but yeah uh it's wonderful they did an excellent job look at all that beautiful pavement you know what i mean and uh yeah plenty of street side parking so if you're in an rv you can just pull over there there's a little cafe up here on the right uh, that's still open. Yeah, they make great hamburgers if you want to pull in there and get you one one time And then behind it is Tiny's Market. It's a little grocery store and I guess he's made it because he's still open And but it's called we just call 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 call. I don't know. I can't see the sign But anyway, they got pizza hamburgers and stuff good place. But look how pretty these streets are now. Isn't that nice? I mean it took them a year, but hey dog Rome wasn't built in a day So here we go yeah, so what have I learned today? Well, I've learned that I can use the Tesla chargers, but I need that whatever connector adapter to the J1772, and I'm good to go all over the United States, I guess, or anywhere they have a, well, anywhere they have a charger, basically. Speed limit here is 25, and actually I'm going 25, and there's somebody that looks like they're fixing to give me a push. Yeah, there's a pizza place here on the right that's pretty good, but I'm, you'd have to check their hours. It's called Rosie's Pizza. And I'm not sure what their hours are. Visitor centers on the left here and an old railroad car caboose. And the lady that works there sometimes played in a symphony orchestra all over the world. Interesting lady to talk to, I promise you. We're going to drive out to uh, Valley of Fires. Bureau of Land Management because it's only four miles out of town here. And uh, here's something else I'll add. <clears throat> That's also the gas station right there, 239 a gallon. Now this is April the, I don't know, 16th, 18th, 20th, whatever it happens to be. And uh, but yeah, uh, on the uh, electric vehicles, one of the things that people are missing, and I, I've, I've said this in another video, I'll say it again, because it's very important. You know, the range is stated at 250 miles or whatever it is, but because of the resistive or, excuse me, regenerative braking, for example, I came from Capitan, New Mexico to Carrizozo, 20 miles. Okay, it's 20 miles from Capitan, New Mexico to Carrizozo. When I left Capitan, New Mexico, my range was 285 miles. When I got to Carrizozo, New Mexico, my range was 282 miles. So I only used three range miles to get here at 13 cents a kilowatt, which cost me 39 cents to go 20 miles. Okay, so, you know, it's amazing how well that regenerative braking works. I don't really just want to dwell on EVs this morning, but yeah, I'm learning more about my Chevy Bolt every day i got a 2022 chevy bolt 2lt and yeah it works okay for me and i also have a dr pepper 
<laughs> a Diet Dr. Pepper with a little big red in it because I went to that awesome gas station there that they have refills for 99 cents and they also have good ice. They got two things that have ice that come out. Get the one on the left because it's got that soft ice. It's good. And enough said. And also got some dark chocolate almonds and all that stuff. So here we go, guys. We're going to uh, Valley of Fires Recreation Area. And we're just cruise on out here. Now, it's called Malpais Valley of Fires is what this whole area is. But the reason it is called that is called, Mal I think Malpais or Malpais, I already pronounced it, means like badlands in Spanish. And yeah, this was definitely bad land because of the, the lava flow that went several miles, I don't know, 100 miles or whatever it was, probably a few, several miles wide. And uh, yeah, you'll have to check it out on YouTube, but it's called Valley of Fires, uh, Bureau of Land Management Campground. It's a great place. Uh, but you know they've gone to a reservation system now. I haven't used it because I have a place, a home base in Capitan, New Mexico. I used to come here years ago, and so it's okay. It's an improved place. It's got water uh, and electric at uh, about 15 sites. Uh, it's got some sites with nothing. It's also got tent camping, got restrooms with showers, and that's the ad for Valley of Fires Bureau of Land Management. How much is it? Well, if you have the senior federal pass, uh, then it's about nine or ten dollars a day. If you, if you don't, you can double that. That's with water and electric. It's a few dollars cheaper if you just pull into a site with nothing. I always get the water and electric because it's like two or three dollars a day difference, and that's all. So you, you, know, you can't saving three dollars ain't worth it to me but so here we go it's been an interesting day i'm glad i found that out about the tesla so i need to get that there's a that adapter they have is the one i was looking at on on uh, amazon at 60 bucks but yeah i could throw this that adapter in, the, in this car and then yeah if i wanted to go to taos or you know wherever the hell i wanted to go santa fe or somewhere uh, just a driving trip and spend the night in the motel i could damn sure do it because i can pull up a tesla charger and in one hour I can put in probably, I don't know, 100 miles. You know, and that's because it's only to get to uh, Taos, I think it's 170, no, it might be more than that. It might be 240 miles from here. I may not do it anyway. I'm just thinking about it. You'll hear me crunching all that ice. We're into the lava flow now. You see that black soil there, that or whatever rocks. That's actually lava. Well, not this is not, but further on you'll see some more black lava. But right up here we turn left. So you kind of come over a hill, so it's kind of hang in the left lane because it's got a good turn lane going into Valley of Fires. That's good. And yeah, it looks like they got a few people here and we'll drive through and say hello to them. Valley of Fires, F-I-R-E-S, plural. It's more than one fire. Okay, here we go. I left, with, I left with 285 miles of range and I got 283 left. <laughs> Yo, yeah, depends on how you drive, guys, I'm telling you. Well, of course, and, and the and the terrain. They kind of hang to the right here and go around and there's a pay station right up here. But you don't need it if you've got a reservation. You just go to your site. You just wave at that stop sign and go on in. And the old boy that's the... Uh, uh, camp host here he's a hell of a good guy and he's always working you know let's see the first one on the right just has nothing this one has water and electric number two and it says open uh this one's reserved that's three and four and they got water and electric and i don't know that guy's got his wind generator up. i wonder why he's got that up i don't know maybe that one doesn't have water and electric who knows and then over on the right, there's a, a, a pathway out in the lava that you can go walk on. It's about, a, I don't know, about a mile round trip, you know, do the whole thing. It's, it's cute out there. You see all kind of rock squirrels and all kind of stuff. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. And there is a, oh, they've got, a, they've got somebody at the uh, office now. How about that? 
been a couple of years since I've been down there. That little trailer you saw on the right, that aluminum looking thing, that's an Airstream. There's somebody in a van, there's somebody in an Airstream. How about that? Let me turn this over a little bit. The building you saw on the left there, that's where the showers and stuff are. Why am I telling you all this? I don't know. I don't think you probably don't care. I haven't seen the camp host yet. Is he here? No, he's not here yet. Yeah, he is. There's his motorhome. He's here in his Jeep. He's got a motorhome and a Jeep. I waved at that guy there and he just stared at me like, never mind. They got a dump station. Yeah, they do have a dump station. So you know, if you come here and stay three or four days, you can dump on the way out. No charge. Well, they got a pretty full park, guys. All the ones with water and electric are pretty well taken. This guy's in the, if, you, if all of them are taken, you can reserve the uh, handicap spot. And these on the right here that just, uh, these two on the right, those just have water and electric. I mean, they don't have anything, but there's a water spigot available. And this is the one I always get right here. I think it's number 15. Well, because it's got the best view and you can come either way. You, you can go in straight ahead or you can go down and turn around and come back and be the other way, whatever fits, suits your RV. But you got a beautiful view. Let me turn around and show you what you got. Yeah, that's your view. Is that neat? Hell yeah. Gets a little breezy up here. Are there any rattlesnakes here, Rusty? Shit, yeah, there are. <laughs> I'm telling you. Man, you get out here in, in May when those little boogers are waking up. Woo! Man, it's getting a little fuzzy, isn't it? Is it, is it going to unfuzz? Uh, well, I guess it's all right. Hell, let's go. Uh, no, hell, I, I almost stepped on a couple of them. I did a video of one right outside my RV, right under the step. Yeah, there's the camp host down there. I'll slow down. Maybe I can get his attention. <laughs> He's a rounder, boy. He's a pill. He he come he's been coming here every year for a hundred years, man. I give him a hard time. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. How, how far is it to Valley of Fire? About forty miles that way. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Just, just keep going. Just hit it. <laughs> Gas on her. Gas on her. How you doing? I'm doing good. You good. Well, you, you, you got your Willie Nelson outfit on. you damn right. I'm cold out here. It's cold. <laughs> well, God damn, they, they don't pay you enough to die out here, Shit. do they? Huh? It's miserable. Is it? Oh, it's been miserable ever since I've been back. When did you get back? In middle of March. Middle of March. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's been cold. <laughs> damn Hell, they've been two or three times I froze up because, you know, you water, know the water hose. Yeah, well, see, I left what I'm over in Capitan. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, 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 what I do is I take their forecasted low and subtract 12 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well. Well, hell, it's never right. Uh -uh. Well, no. just like today, they said it's 52 degrees, and it feels like 46. I got this morning when I was out here, it felt like it was 32 degrees. Well, get you an outdoor temperature gauge, and oh. you'll see how far off they really well, are. when I come rich and famous like you, well, I hear I'll you. probably buy one. Well, I hear you, but straight ahead, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep, straight ahead. But, yeah, uh, yeah, just get a run at it, though. <laughs> Yeah, don't slow down. Don't. Once you gas on her, don't, don't back out of her. That's it, boy. <laughs> Keep hitting it. <laughs> well, good to see you, cowboy. You too, buddy. Keep your health. I'll do, the, I'll do my best. And stay warm because they ain't paying you enough to die. Oh, shit, it's cold out here. <laughs> usually I get out here earlier than, usually, in, you know, it's warm out here. Yeah. And usually I get out early and do the thing, and, but by God, this morning I drug my feet a little bit because it was cold out Surely here. Surely not. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, good to see you, you Chief. Too. Keep so you too. You're, you're still over at Capitan. Capitan, yep, yeah, I am. Got my okay. home base over there and got my RV parked there, and life's good. That's good. Yep. I hear this thing uh, charging itself. It's uh, all electric, man. Let me tell you, when I left Capitan to come over here, I had 285 miles of range. Okay. You know how much I've got now? How much? 283. Oh, really? Yeah, it's that regenerative yeah, braking? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's Well, yeah, recharged. as you come down, you come down a thousand feet. Yeah. So I've actually gone two miles of range. <laughs> yeah, and they have two miles of battery, basically. Yeah, it would cost me 26 cents to drive over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too shabby. No, sir, it ain't. Enjoy so, your day, Chief. You too, buddy. Keep your health. Adios. You know. Straight ahead, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a pill, boy. I'm telling you. Yeah, you, know, you get out here on the road like I've been for years. You, know, you get to know a few people, but 
Uh, he, he's a rounder, man. but he is a worker, dog. I'm telling you, he is the busiest guy. He's the busiest camp host I have ever seen. No, he ain't kidding. But he goes from here uh, out to the Tucson area in the winter and then comes back here. He's been doing it for years. If you ever come to Valley of Fire, tell him Rusty said hello because <laughs> he's, he's a good old boy. Straight ahead, huh? <laughs> this is the tent sites, and uh, you can park down here in a car and camp. Or if you got a van, you can probably get by with that, too. And I, I don't know how much they are. They're probably 6 $8 a night. There's a lady in the car with a tent. Let's get over here and you can see the lady in the car with a tent. She's cleaning up. She must be fixing to leave. <laughs> Ladies are always scared when somebody drives by. But, and most of them have dogs for that reason, to protect them. Let me turn it back a little bit here. There we go. There's somebody in a van. They got a few tent sites open, but it's a pretty busy park. This thing used to be, many years ago, at this time of the year, you'd come here, you wouldn't be, there wouldn't be anybody here. But a few people like me have done videos, kind of put it on the map, and uh, people, uh, and particularly now that they can reserve a spot, they come in here. I'd say there's only two tent sites open out of, I don't know, 10 or 12. Oh, where's your motorcycle? Well, you know, different strokes for different folks, guys. Here's another van with an electric bike on the back. Yeah, whatever, man. You do. Everybody's got to do what they do. You know, right now my range shows 284 miles. I left with 285 from Capitan, and uh, I've gone one mile of range. Isn't that something? You know, that's something I didn't think of about the EV. Now, of course, you know, you can't really count on that all the time. Depending, It just depends on where you are. You know, like, you know, I've been estimating driving, say, 800 miles a month at four miles to the kilowatt would be 200 kilowatts a month, would be uh, $26 a month in uh, energy cost from Otero Electric here, or in the Capitan. And uh, as it turns out, even though I'm driving 800 miles, I'm only using about 100 uh, uh, kilowatts, you know, which cost me $13, you know. It's amazing. Do I care? It's just fun. Give me something to do. I just piddle with my, let my mind wander a little bit, wander over yonder. So if you're in New Mexico, guys, drop by and visit with me in Capitan. Good time to be there is around 4.30. I'll hang out for an hour or so. But I got a routine, so, you know. But if you see my car parked there, you know, and, and it's a, a, a regular, a good hour or whatever, you know, come up and knock on the door. Hell, I'm usually not doing anything. So enjoy your life. Enjoy what, let's go on back through here. We'll get back out to the highway. We'll shut it down. I'll let you see the going and coming of the Valley of the Fires. Now, we've seen that side over there, so we're going to look at this side over here a little bit. Beautiful view, man. Beautiful view. I, I give the view from here, from these sites. Well, I can't think of any that have a bad view, let me say that. There's a toilet here. They got, they got, I think they got two or three of those scattered around. But they have restroom. And uh, that, let me tell you what site, if I can see the site number here, I'll warn you on one. Uh, it's site number, I think it's site number 16. Uh, I wouldn't get that one. Why? Because damn hard to level your RV there. I had it one time, and it's just really a unlevel site. But if you have to, do what you do, do well. Isn't that pretty though? That's all lava straight ahead there. All black lava from a, and it wasn't a volcano. It was a, a rupture of a, like a fissure, you know, in the, in the earth's crust. Well, this guy here is weird. He, he stopped like I'm gonna run over him or something. I'm gonna stop see what he does. <laughs> He's frozen, man. How you doing? Yo, <laughs> statue man. He's still standing there. Oh, there you go. 
Anyway, enough said. What he does is what he does. I do me. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're cruising along here. Now, that's the dump station right there, and that's the trash cans and all that stuff. And on up here, you've got this. It's a big building. The restrooms are huge, and the showers are nice. Uh, you just have to keep punching it to get the hot water or the water warm. You know, it's a typical New Mexico State Park shower. Wear, wear flip-flops or something on your feet so you don't get the fungus. You know what I mean? The, the, the athlete's foot. Anywhere you take a shower away from home, put on some flip-flops or some Crocs. That building that just passed in the video is a, that's the office. You can go down. They got a, they have a little uh, library kind of thing where people leave books and stuff. Yeah, they got a pretty busy campground here for this time of the year, man. This is like, uh, I don't know, April the 16th, 17th, whatever it is. Yeah, this is this. This is this doesn't bode well for the summer, I'll guarantee you. Well, in the sense that if you're looking for a spot, this thing may be filled up. I know I'm crunching on ice. <laughs> I'm going about six miles an hour, man. All right, guys, we're getting here to the road now. I'll end the video. But anyway, from uh, Valley of Fires, New Mexico, near Carrizozo, New Mexico, about four miles west. Excuse me, is that right? Uh, yeah, west of uh, Carrizozo on Highway 380, I think. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. And... Enjoy your life the best way you can. You know, think of things that you enjoy doing, like I enjoy do it, taking these little drives. And, uh, yeah. So you do those things that you enjoy, and life will be kind of fun. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.